Hey everybody, welcome back to Retro Modding News, my weekly video where I talk about what's new and upcoming in the world of retro modding. First, I wanted to remind everybody about the Retro Game Restore Clear NES shells. They're currently available for pre-order and they're trying to reach the minimum order quantity. So if you are interested in one of these, I think now is the time to sign up for the pre-order. I'm not sure if they're gonna necessarily cancel this if it doesn't reach the minimum order quantity, but obviously they have to reach that number in order to manufacture these for anybody. There's some nice looking pictures on the Retro Game Restore site. I haven't bought any of the Retro Game Restore products other than the faceplate for the Game Boy Macro, uh, but I kind of have a soft spot for the front-loading NES, and I have a black open Tendo PCB that I haven't built yet, so I think that would look really awesome inside of this clear shell. I'm definitely tempted by that clear shell, although $109 is a lot of money. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you think I should buy one of these shells? Would you like to see video of me putting together one of these and an open Tendo together? Let me know in the comments below. And to go along with the clear NES shell, Greg from Lazy Bear showed off some really awesome looking clear resin 3D prints. These are 3D printed multi-out pieces. These multi-outs are to go along with the NES RGB so that you can use the Super Nintendo style cables with an NES RGB instead of the NES RGB, I think it's eight DIN cables. Those DIN eight cables are really only useful for the NES RGB. I guess you could also use them with the minigun super gun. But using this multi-out connector, you can use your Super Nintendo cable with both the Super Nintendo as well as this NES. These prints came out really awesome. Here's another picture of them. They're not completely clear. I mean, they're not as clear as like acrylic or the injection molded plastic for the Retro Game Restore shell, but I still think they look pretty clean. And what's even better is Retro Game Restore is going to try to use that multi-out piece that Laser Bear has created to put a hole into that clear NES shell. Normally when you do the snap fit multi-out from Laser Bear, you've got to cut a hole in the back of your case with a drill. Getting this clear shell with the hole already in it will essentially make that mod a no-cut mod if you use that shell. I wanted to bring up a Retro Fighters controller. I think that this is not necessarily a new controller, although I think the color black is new. This Duelist controller is a wireless GameCube controller for the Nintendo Switch. I think it's meant for Smash Ultimate, but being for the Nintendo Switch, that probably means that it's Bluetooth, which makes this an excellent candidate for a GameCube Blue Retro setup. I know that Laser Bear was talking about making Blue Retro adapters for the GameCube, so I'm looking forward to that. But if you're anything like me, you don't wanna use just any sort of random Bluetooth controller. You want a controller that looks as close as possible to that original console. I was hoping that that Panda GameCube controller Kickstarter was gonna actually go through. It's a shame that that got canceled, but this might be a cheap alternative to that in the meantime. If any of you out there already have this controller, let me know if you actually enjoy it. Next up, we have some interesting Mr. news. It looks like there is now a Sega Genesis 32X core for the Mr. And what makes it even more incredible is it was developed by SRG320, or Sergey, who is one of the developers who is, I think, currently still in the Ukraine. I know this probably isn't appealing to a lot of people, but I think they're going to wrap this 32X functionality into the overall Sega Genesis functionality. Although don't quote me on that, I'm not really sure. But there's a few 32X games that you can now play on a mister, which is really cool. Video Game Esoteria actually made a video about that, and look, this is the Doom port on the 32X, I guess. This is the Sonic Chaotix. I don't know, what's the game on the 32X? It looks like there's still some bugs in the core, but if you've got a mister, then hey, you should check out this new Sega 32X core. And finally, to go along with that Sega 32X mister core, F E.G. Marinus, sorry if I butchered your name, but they tweeted at Crix if there's gonna be a, a Mega Everdrive Pro Super Turbo 32X now that the FPGA core code exists. And then Crix immediately replied with this PCB in the bottom corner here it says 32X Mini. If you go down in the comments, Crix says that this was meant to be an FPGA 32X clone, meaning you could put a flash cart on top of this 32X Mini and it acts like a little FPGA tower of power. And the way Crix is talking, it looks like it can bypass some of the original 32X limitations related to Sega Master System and Sega CD compatibility. I'm not really too familiar with that, but if this could be even better than an original 32X, and if it's at a low enough price point, I think that this is like a must have for anybody who's a fan of the original Sega Genesis. I've been holding off on buying a 32X myself. I know they're a little bit expensive and kind of finicky. I think you have to change some of the 
capacitors and things. And I know that Zaxor was messing around with something. I think it was related to the power, it was kind of noisy, had some coil line. So to me, owning an original 32X is not really that appealing. So if this is inexpensive and nice enough looking, and if it works with the original Mega EverDrive, I don't have a Mega EverDrive Pro, then I would definitely consider picking one of these up so that I could have 32X functionality. Crix didn't mention anything about timeline, so we'll have to wait and see if there's more information about when this might be released. That's it for this week. If you want to suggest a new story to me, follow me on Twitter or join the Discord. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.